This is the fourth video in this series on the five highest winning probability chart patterns. In this video, you'll see the cycle low reversal pattern. And just as a reminder, you can usually recognize these same chart patterns with whatever indicators you are currently using. Now, my goal with this series of videos is to show you how to recognize these top five high winning probability chart patterns with whatever indicators you like to use. Now, again, using the weekly time frame and the daily time frame, this is what I use to look for these various areas of uh, support resistance. But this is what we call the cycle low reversal. So you can see on this weekly time frame, this is the gold futures contract. It had a really big uh, breakdown, sold off very, very hard. Now what we're looking for is where the cycle starts to shift and turns back up. Uh, so here's the weekly. Now to recognize this pattern, you can see how that deep V, that's one of the parts of the pattern that you'll see a lot of times. Sometimes it'll be a rounded bottom, but the best ones are when it's a deep V like this. Now what we use is a special indicator that uh, you know gives us a... Um, oversold indication or signal and this is kind of our alert to a potential cycle change so if you look down here cycle three when this is selling off real hard it's very dangerous if you're trying to take shots to get long because you can just get kind of run over like a freight train but with this cycle reversal indicator down here cycle three once it starts going above a certain percentage point right here which is the the uh, 20 percent oversold then that's an alert to, hey, watch out, let's take a look at a reversal pattern to the upside. So this is on the weekly. Now, if you look over to the daily, you'll also see a reversal arrow here. So we're getting reversal signals here on the daily. Okay, and then you're seeing cycle three down here also starting to go back above the 20% oversold and reversal patterns. So that then shifts, you know, gives you potential for this trend shift up. So here's your cycle reversal. Then once you start breaking back above some of these moving averages on your daily, then that's added confirmation for a reversal signal. Now this is a cycle low reversal on crude oil. So you can see on the, a lot of these futures contracts, it'll get some really aggressive hard selling off. So again, on the weekly, you can see how severe this selling is. Just very, very uh, powerful move down. And again, here's that V pattern. Now, once we get down here, you want to be careful not to, you know, take your shots too early to try to pick a bottom. So that's where we use, again, this indicator, the cycle three, which shows us, you know, when it starts to shift up from an oversold. All right, so once that starts to give us an alert, and again, we use that as alert, I'm also watching the daily here. So you can see the daily, how it came down, starts to bottom. We're looking at the weekly. It's starting to give that signal over the uh, oversold, uh, starting to shift back up. We start to get reversal indications or signals here. You can see the arrows, our reversal indicator here. So these are things that you really need. You actually need some type of way to, you know, give yourself a projection of a, a low and a reversal. So we've got these reversal indicators or cycle oversold uh, indicators, etc. So then you can see on the daily, then it starts to push back above the moving averages, holds that 21 on the daily. And then it's you know off to the races to the upside. So here's an example of a cycle low reversal on Walmart. So again, the weekly time frame on the left and the daily on the right. So you can see Walmart it had an extreme sell-off. And then the the key to what I look for is a uh, signal for an alert for a potential shift in cycle. So that's where I, I really have to look at my cycle three indicator down here below. You can see cycle three. So when it starts shifting above that green, which is the uh, 20% oversold, that's when I start getting uh, myself prepared for a potential shift in the cycle. So again, you can come over to the daily time frame here, and you'll see that it will, you know, obviously it's a shorter time frame than weekly, so it'll start shifting first. So right here, you can see that uh, it started shifting back up right here. Now the next thing I do is look for momentum. You've got to have momentum to push price. So then I look for my cycle one right here, going positive, cycle two going positive, that's where I would look to get in. So that's a break of the 21. That's an additional confirmation. And then you can see that cycle low total reversal. So that's on Walmart. And then here's an example of the dollar yen cross. So it's severe, really hard sell off dollar versus yen. And then you start seeing these reversal signals on the weekly and on the daily. So the key here again, though, is the cycle three indicator again, an oversold. Uh, uh, indicator. So once it uh, goes again, you know, above that 20% oversold, and then we get positive momentum cycle one and two. So you can see it right there. 
then that's the, the signal or the alert to be watching for a reversal to the upside. So then we got into this time zone right here about the 30th, uh, and we had that really nice reversal up. So let me shift this a little bit. So this was about uh, October the 10th. So then you can see here we get positive momentum on the weekly on cycle one down here and two. Okay. Now then you shift your eyes over to the daily time frame here, and you can see that the getting a volatility squeeze. Here's that volatility compression squeeze. And then you can see the momentum shifts up and then you get the break to the upside. So that really put the catalyst for this reversal up on the dollar yen. So then, you know, you break the 200 day moving average and, and up, up it goes. So in the next video, video five, this will be the last video in this series. We're going to cover the cycle high reversal. Hope this helps and I'll see you on the next video.